Hear ye those who love the Fair Lady Z. Today we have the Cherokee 280 Z. Yeah, let's see here. It says here Taiwan. Okay, something that's not made in China. And it says it's copyright 1980. But I don't think this came out in 1980 because it looks too good. <laughs> so I don't really know how old this is. But you know, we're going to wheel swap it anyways. Maybe there's a production code back there. So let's say number A-5, Fair Lady. Alright. So, here we are. Some pictures. They seem to have the hood details here. This little V thing. The Nacaduck, that is. The, the hood bulge itself. Here's a foreshortening. Mm, the vents are different. I'm not sure. Maybe in a different year they had more vertical ones. Possibly. No fuel filler on this one. Alright, tail lights just printed on, painted on, okay. So this blue is metallic actually, alright. didn't even notice that when I bought it. I bought it used locally here. And then obviously we have the silver hood and there's some printed on wiper blades there. The Z is literally molded on top of this, this bump. It's crazy how big that bump is. Seems unnecessarily large for no reason. Good uh, rib and rib textures here in the vents, though. Uh, Alright, the bumper has some molded details, but no paint. I think there's supposed to be some reflectors there. Just silver dots for the uh, headlights. Uh, standard wheels, of course. This one's a target top. And there's actually a rear wiper blade. That's a nice little touch. Just plain red taillights. And then here, I love Z car. I think this might have come up from a set. I believe there's a Z car set. Anyways, S130, I think that's the body code of the real car. And this is the T-Top Turbo. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the bottom of this thing and uh, unscrew it. There we go. Let's see if the tab is too wide for the opening it's going through. Or maybe if we're lucky, it'll just open right up. Uh-oh. Come on. Well, this is a different, not a standard tab. It's not very really wide like I'm used to. That is the new, I think. How is that staying in place? There's no, that's hooking onto what? Oh, there's just a little ledge there. Interesting. Oh, and the, the glass is actually a separate clear piece of plastic. So this body is opaque. Oh, that makes sense. It's just molded uh, metallic blue, I think. Or is this blue painted? Maybe it's painted because it look, I don't see that metallic here on the bottom of the hood. Alright, compared to the blue there. Alright. Very colorful motor here. I'm gonna pop that out. Oh, there is a production now. So let's take a look here. 2000. Arrow X. So the tenth month of the year 2000. Alright. You can see the front bumper is part of this bottom piece. Hmm. Let me find a uh, motor without an axle. Pop that back in. Put this back together. So I guess I have to hook the back in first, I'm assuming. Oh, I missed it. Or maybe do the front and then just pop the back down. No. Oh, I see. You see there's notches here on the side. Those notches have to slide in. So I have to slide this thing over those notches. I got one set up. Come on. There we go. Alright, that's how it works. Alright, I'm always learning. Let that screw go. Alright, pre-selected some good old four-spoke Hot Wheels Real Riders. Feel like the dark blue, the chrome wheels really shine against it, and I think they do. 
And these have some uh, other Turokyo rear tires on there. They're very old, very hard. Hmm, they're a totally different color, sadly, because they are so very old and so very hard. But for the sake of video, for the sake of the video, we're just going to continue on. And actually, yeah, I don't really love this casting enough to really care. I feel like it's, uh, it's got details typical of a churro cube, but for some reason, just not enough. Uh, I don't know what it is about it, or maybe it's the proportions of this thing. Uh, I just don't like it as much as the other churro cues. Speaking of which, we should probably pull some out. So, get this poster thing. And we a disc. And some other Z's. I well, we got this uh, Le Mans racer and I 3D printed my own wheels on there. But this is a 260Z, as it says on the back. You see how the taillights are so much better on that one? So, yeah, this one actually has an opening hood too, not that I care. Uh, but this one also does, probably the same type. It's just a sticker. It's kind of funny actually, they would just put a sticker in there. I think this might be the same casting actually. So I'll put it next to this. But, it's got the BRE uh, livery, so that's a tough one to beat. Or is it? I have one of these, uh, I'm, what is it? Concrete Western or Seibu Keisatsu, the Super Z. So this is the old version of it. And this is the new version of it from the Cherokee Zero line. is a 240Z G. It's a 240Z G. And so I think that just means it has headlight covers. And the last one I have is a S30 police car. I think the S30 means it's a 240Z. I don't know. Yeah, so... In theory, I should like the 280Z more than a lesser Z, but uh, I don't. I actually prefer these crazy vehicles first, but then I think I like those two race cars better. So, only the police car might be worse. Now, let me get a top view for you guys here. Japan thing. This is a Gundam. I think it's called Ak Guy. I, I forget. As to why a Gundam robot would be sliding into home base, I don't know. <laughs> but it's just so goofy looking, I had to get it. Okay. Alright, well, as I mentioned, not the, my favorite Z, but. Uh, I figured I'd pick it up because I don't have the casting of a 280Z up until now, so. Okay, well thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next Z review.